Hello, everybody. J.R. Fisher here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time zone you're in. I want to make sure everybody can hear me, and I am joined with the lovely and talented Jessica. Say hello, Jessica. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for being here. got a really cool thing today because you know I keep having people say to me oh my gosh it's so difficult to be online and to do stuff and uh, literally we're going to build a website today in under 30 minutes actually it's like 27 minutes because I have a little bit of intro to it and I recorded me doing that so we wouldn't have any glitches or anything I'm live right now but I'm gonna go to the recording in just a second um, but you know you got to ask yourself do you need a website and I would say yes you know, and I know you can sell off like Kartra, you can sell off click funnels, you know, you can do affiliate stuff and all that. But it's just it's a good idea to have a white website. It's a it's a good idea to know how to build one. You know, the scary thing is I see so many people go out and hire somebody and they spend thousands of dollars and they just they don't get much. You know, and you could do this yourself, you know, for you know under fifty bucks. So I would highly suggest you just knowing how to build your own website. I will show you step by step how to do it today. We will post a recording of this so you'll have it. And from this point forward, you can build a website. Heck, you could charge people to build a website after this training today. You could literally do that. So let's jump into that right now. I'm going to switch over to the recording part of it real quick. Uh, and I'm going to just take you through all the steps. So and if you have questions, guys, put those in the comment section. I'm going to be monitoring that as well as Jessica, and we can answer any questions you have. If you have problems, let's say you tried to build a website, and you know, put in there if you tried to build a website and what happened or if you paid somebody or whatever, stick those comments in there. We kind of want to see what's going on with you there. So uh, set those off to the side. We love to hear your comments, and let me go ahead and get this started, and I will teach you how to build a website. You are going to learn how to build a website in 28 minutes with no technical skill and zero experience. And when you get to the end of this, you're going to say, you're right, JR, that was easy. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, at the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to build this website. So you just have to follow through all the steps and you'll be fine. You don't need the experience. Uh, matter of fact, after today, you've got experience. You can build all the websites you want. Now, whether you're already interested in building a site or you're kind of on the fence about doing this, this tutorial is for everybody at every level. It's really super easy and it's simple to follow. Okay, so you're going to know in what order to do these steps also because that's also very, very important in doing this quickly. So everyone really needs a website nowadays, right? I mean, websites are extremely versatile. You can do a blog if you wanted. Um, it could be about fashion or travel or business or whatever you want. Matter of fact, you can use it for personal branding, um, something that has your resume, maybe your portfolio of work on it. Um, you could even create an online business. I have a bunch of online businesses in e-commerce. You can sell products. You can sell services. Um, websites are really so simple and so inexpensive now that you really can't afford not to have one. So this, this video is for everybody because everybody needs a website. So how are we going to do this website? Well, we're going to use something called WordPress, which you may have heard about. It's one of the largest platforms in the world to build a website on and it's super easy to do so don't worry about that WordPress is really just a content management system or a CMS so WordPress allows you to create and customize a website with different styles and themes that are all pre-built for you all you got to do is just add your personal content to it you can add all types of plugins that are tools to help you customize your site so you never ever have to touch a line of code you don't have to know how to do that stuff it actually allows you to make changes to your websites simple and actually it's kind of fun Okay, so here's what you're going to need. It's only three things. The first thing you're going to need is a domain URL. Now, quite simply put, all that is is the name of your website. For example, my website is jrfisher.com. That's the domain name. Now, these things are incredibly cheap. Uh, they're usually paid for yearly, and they're going to run you about 10 bucks a year, so not a big amount of money. The next thing you're going to need is web hosting. Now, you pay a company to use their servers, okay, to keep your website up on the Internet. Now, this is going to run you about you know, maybe 4 to $8 a month, and that's also paid annually. 
Now, you want to use WordPress.org because it's free. Uh, WordPress.org versus WordPress.com. Um, org offers you the open source that allows you to customize your website with ease. Now, the .com is kind of like a, a light version, and it has really limited functionality. So you only need these three things. Uh, it used to be more difficult because you would have to get all of these items together and uh, kind of patch them together and get them separately. But now you can do it in one place. All you have to do is sign up for web hosting, which I'll put a link in the bottom there, and all you have to do is click on it. And once you have your web hosting, it'll lead you through the path of all the rest of the things you need. So it doesn't get any easier than that. Now we're going to get into the easy step-by-step -step process, and you'll have a website in no time. If you need any help, I do want to remind you with any of these steps, just feel free to comment below with any questions, and I'll respond back to you, and we'll get you going. So let's take a look at our first step now. Okay, so here I am at Bluehost.com, and as you go across the top here, you're going to see a lot of different options. What you want to do first off, if you haven't picked a domain name, you want to go over hosting here and go all the way down to domains. And then you want to put in whatever you want, and it will let you know if it's available, like build a, whoops, build a website. Now, I'm figuring this one here will be taken, so let's search. And when we search, it's going to give me a result. It says the domain build a website is not available for registration, okay? So we would have to go back and put in another one. Now, I've got one I've already searched. And it is make a website zone. And I'm going to search it right here. And it's going to tell me that it's available because I've already checked this. And it's going to ask me to create an account. Now, we can either start right here and create an account, or we can go back. And on the main website itself, if you already know the domain you want, you've already checked it, you can click get started now. Now, when it's on get started now, what it's going to do is going to ask you to select your plan, okay? So the basic plan is this one here, which is $3.95 a month, or you could go up to $5.95 a month, or you could go to this one right here. So let's take a look at all the plans. Let's pick the cheapest plan. We'll check this, pick this one right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my domain in. Now, if you click the link I gave you, it's going to get my domain for free. Okay, and that's really cool. So I'm going to type in that domain and click Next. If you already have a domain, you'll put it here and switch it over, but we, we don't have this one. So I put in all my information right here. Now, when you get to down here, you're going to have to pick your basic package, whatever you want. The cheapest one is $5.95 a month. That's a 12-month price. If you go 24-month, it's $4.95. 36-month is $3.95. So I'm just going to pick the cheapest one right here. And it's going to give me my primary domain registration for free if you click that link I gave you. Now, down here, all of these extra things you really don't need, with the exception of domain privacy protection. Now, what domain privacy protection does is that if somebody tries to look up the owner of a website and get all their information, it will block it so they can't see that. So I'm going to leave that on here, and I'm going to get rid of these other things here. And that's going to bring my total up to 8328. I'm going to put in my card number. You do have to check this box right here where it says, I agree to the terms, and click Submit. Now, once it has processed, it'll say, Congratulations, welcome to Bluehost. Here are a few special offers for you. Okay, so we don't want any more special offers. We're going to say, No thanks. And then it's going to ask me to choose a password for my account. So right now, I'm going to create new password. I'll type that in. You have to click right here that you agree to their privacy policy in terms of service, which I have now done, and I've successfully created a new password. So now I can just log in. Now I could pick a theme right now if I wanted to, and I can always change it later. So let's just scroll through and see what we've got here. Um, what do I want? 
I'm going to go with this one here. This looks kind of cool. And you don't have to do that. If you want, you can go down here to skip this step right now. But I'm just going to go ahead and select one to show you how it's done. Now it says it's setting up WordPress for me. That's what I really like about this is all of this is automated. You don't have to do a thing. And this can take a few minutes. Okay. And it's installed. It's really that simple. Then I can click on start building right here. And boom, I'm right inside my dashboard now with all of my tools. We can pick what we want here. And I'm going to pick that this is a business site. Okay. And when I launch the site, this is the site title, site description. I may say, learn how to build WordPress sites with ease. Okay. The perfect site to learn how to build WordPress sites. And then I'll click next step. And it says here, let's launch learn to build WordPress sites with ease. Are you going to update your site with news or blog posts? And I'll say yes. Okay. And right here it says, uh, what would visitors like to see on the home page? I'm going to go with uh, this one right here, a static welcome page. And let's see here, build a starter contact page. Sure, why not? Okay. Um, connect your Jetpack profile. I don't want to do that at this time, so I'm going to say no. And I could add my business address right here, which I have a pre-populated. Uh, and then I'm going to go to next step. Are you looking to sell online? If I want to sell products online, I would install WooCommerce. Now I'm going to go ahead and install this just so I have it. And you may want to do that too, because just because you have um, something installed does not mean you necessarily need to use it. Okay. So now what I've done here is I've installed the entire website. Guys, I'm going to interrupt myself for a moment. On the bottom of the screen there, see where it says free domain? If you use that link right there and you want to build a website, uh, if you use that link, it's bit.ly forward slash bluehost dash jr. They will give you your domain for free, so you don't have to pay for it. All you do is pay for your hosting. So I just want to mention that, and I'm going to leave that up on the screen there, too, for you guys if you want to jot it down off to the side. Because if you're going to get a, a site hosted anyhow, and by the way, the reason I'm suggesting this Bluehost is because Bluehost is the preferred provider for uh, WordPress. So WordPress says use Bluehost. So obviously, they're going to integrate a whole lot better. So I just want to mention that, and I'm interrupting myself I'm doing this, but I'm sitting here just noticing that. And if I want to um, edit my title and description, I would do it here. My homepage layout here, my welcome page here, my contact us page right here. Uh, let's see what else. I could edit my business address here, and I could uh, install WooCommerce here if I wanted to do that. So here's where I would go to customize my site, and there it is. There's my site all set up and ready to go. Okay, so when you click on dashboard over here, this is where I want you to go. You can scroll through here and what WordPress has done here is they're going to start suggesting different plugins and plugins are things that do a particular task for you on your website. So the first one here is trying to get you to get uh, constant contact for free and I'm going to get rid of that because I don't want that email provider. Uh, and that way I don't keep seeing that particular one. Uh, this is a good one here. Uh, please configure your Google Analytics setting. You do want to do that, get all that set up. And uh, let's just scroll through here real quick. Uh, this down here is how you customize your site. And I want to go through all of these items on the menu side right here too. But right down here, it has a, a program called Jetpack if you want it. And you could uh, set up Jetpack here. Uh, right down here, it's offering me Optin Monster, which is a little uh, pop-up that uh, grabs people's email addresses and integrates those with my email provider, which I do not have integrated yet. And you can just scroll down and see all that. But let's go through each one of these things here. Here's your Bluehost tab. So if you need to get to Bluehost for any reason, you go there. This is the Jetpack one, which they've automatically installed. 
Now, sometimes people get confused because there's several things on a website. Now, the first one is going to be post. A post would be anything that you would put in a blog so that on the home page, if you put a new post in, the way this is set up now is it will automatically appear on the home page. Okay. So you could look at all posts and we'll click on that real quick. And right now we don't have a lot of posts. We got one that says hello world. That's it. So we could take that particular one. We could click on it and we could actually change it to the best uh, website building site. We do that if we want it. Now, if you notice right here, um, I can click update right here. So let me click update and I'll just do that. Now that I've clicked update, I can click right here and view post and update is going to publish this for me. So I could click right here and click view post. And it says the best website building site posted July 2nd. And it tells me when it was particularly posted. Okay. So let's go back here real quick. And that's how you do your post. And you can add new and you can have categories. You can tag them. You can do all kinds of different stuff to them. Okay. So here's the tags that you would add. So if somebody was actually searching for a post and I put uh, website in here and I click that as a tag and I put WordPress. Okay, and I put that as a tag. People could now use these tags here to search that particular post within my website and find it. And uh, this is your title, which you can change, of course. This is the body of your actual message here. And let's go and look at this real quick and actually see it. I'm going to click my update button. And as soon as I do that, it's going to have a post updated, and I can click view post. And it says the website, the best website building site. Now I want to go back and just make a change so you guys can see what it looks like on the actual site itself. This says welcome to WordPress. This is your first post to delete it, start writing. So I'm going to put check out this cool picture. Okay. Whoops. Little error there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a picture in here. So I'm going to click add media. Now this is your media gallery right here. And if I click here, it's going to show me all my files, which I have none. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is select a file and upload it. So I pick a file and once I pick that file, it's going to automatically check it. You want to put in here your title of it and your old text and all that good stuff. But I'm going to insert into post. So that picture is now in there. Now, when I hit update, let's click update. It's going to give me a post update right here. And I can click view post and I can see what I got. The best website building site. And there's that picture right there. So it's that easy, not hard at all for you to do. Now, the next thing we want to look at is, and of course, we went through media here. This is where you would add new media. You don't have to go through here. You can go here and add it. Next one is pages. What a page is, is a page is a full page on a site. It's not just an update. It's not just a post. So I'm going to click on all pages and see what we have right now. We just have this one sample page here. So if we wanted to add another page, we would go up here to the top and click add new. And we are going to put WordPress page. And then I would put whatever I want here. Learn how to do WordPress. And I think I want to put a picture right here about WordPress. Okay, so I've got a picture I want to put in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click Add Media. And I'm going to upload a file. And I'm going to find that picture of WordPress that I have, which is right here. I'm going to open it. It will populate a picture of it here. I'll click insert. So we see it right here. So there's the picture. And if you want to do any editing, you can edit right here. Uh, if you want to change the size of it. So, you know, if you want to make it bigger or smaller, I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. If I wanted to put a link into it, I would click right here and I would do a custom URL. And let's put my website in here. And 
then I would update and then I would update again then I would go ahead and view page now if you look at this when I hover over it see it's got a little hand there if I click on it it's going to take me to my website pretty cool stuff so I could do that let me go back to my page here and work on it so that's your pages area now if you have comments on your post you would find them here and then the, it has a plugin right here it's uh, trying to tell you about but let's let's talk about plugins for just a second down here it says plugins okay and the first thing I want to do is see what I have for installed plugins so I'm going to click on that now WordPress is going to give you some plugins right off the bat. So it's giving you this one. It's giving you Bluehost. Obviously, we hosted through them. Uh, and you could deactivate any of these things if you wanted to also. Uh, and it's giving you all these other ones down here. The one that I think that you really ought to have is the one for your SEO. Because if you go to a page right now, let's look at um, all pages. And you do want to SEO your pages. So let's pick this one here. And we'll edit it. As you see, there's really nothing down here, nothing we can really work on to make this page SEO friendly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to plugins and I'm going to add a new plugin. And this one particular one I like, it has to do with SEO and it's called SEO Ultimate. And I'm going to search that. Let's scroll down. It's right here. It's this, this particular one. Uh, it says there's uh, over 100,000 active installations, so a lot of people have been using this. And it's also free. Now, some of your plugins are going to cost you money, and some are going to be free. But I'm going to go ahead and install this one right now. Okay, so it's now installed, and I can now activate it. So I've installed it and activated it. So now when I go down here, you'll see SEO Ultimate and it is installed now what does that do for me well let's go back to pages here we're going to go to all pages and i want to go to that wordpress page i built now check this out look at this guys you can now put your title tag in here and your meta description now this title tag is what you see when you go into search results so if i were to go to google can i type in how to build a website like this what happens is it brings back all these ads and we can tell these are ads because they say ad but then it brings back results down here okay so like this one here this is the title tag and this is the description now if you notice these dots right here what that means is they've made this too long and it won't fit okay um, this particular one they've got a title here and they've got a description and it does fit and any of these ones with the little dots here, the people put too many words. It doesn't do you any good because what happens is Google's just going to cut it off. So if I look at this particular one here and it says how to make a website in 2018, a free sample guide for beginners. OK, um, this particular one, they figured out how many letters to put in here. Now, if you don't know, the cool thing is when we go back right here, the title tag is I'm going to put. Uh, how to make a website okay and that is 65 characters and I, I would put a description down here on how to really sell this search result so I may put easy uh, to use tips on how to make a website you'll now notice as I type this is changing right here see that it's letting me know how many characters I got left. Now, up here, I've used 65 of 70. You'll love our tips and secrets to building websites. They are simple and easy. So I've got 122 um, I may just put a little something else in here. Whoops. Click now to get oh, too many letters. See how it went up to 140? Click now to go. Where does it go? All right. I got 139. So this helps you out so much. And then I go over here and I click update, which I'm going to do. 
And now what I can do is view the page. Now, when I view this page, um, this is the page here that I just now SEO'd, okay? If you hit Control and right click, and I go down to view page source right here, it's gonna tell me the background of this page is pretty cool. And you can do this with any page and learn, and don't let this scare you all this stuff on the screen here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control F right here, and I'm gonna look for the title. And if I look for the title right here, it's going to give me, let's see what we've got here, how to build a WordPress website. See, I just type that in, simple steps to build a website. Pretty cool stuff. So this is what it's going to bring back on these Google search results like this right here. It's going to bring that back to them. So let's go back over here again. And the next thing I want to ch uh, check is my description. So I'm going to hit control find description. And now it's saying, here's the description, easy to use tips on how to make a website. Uh, you'll love our tips and secrets. Well, that's exactly what I typed in, isn't it? Okay. So you can see how that works on this page here. So when I go back and I go back to that page and I scroll down to my SEO part, there it is. That's exactly what I typed in. And here's the results of it right here. Okay. Click now to go. There it is. Pretty cool stuff. So it makes it really easy and you can use that particular plugin to work on your website and that particular one's free. And if you go to plugins right here, we can go to install, we can go to add new, and pretty much any subject that you type in here, you're going to find a plugin for it. So if I put email in here and I search, it's going to show me a bunch of different email plugins that I could use. There's MailChimp for WordPress, uh, there's Ninja Forms, there's, I'm just, it goes on and on and on and on. Or if you have a particular one, so let's say you have, let's say, uh, Infusionsoft. That should pull it up. There it is. There's Form Lift for Infusionsoft here. There's Contact Form 7 Infusionsoft. Let me type in the rest of this and just see what we get. Now, not all plugins are free. This is Infusionsoft landing pages, if I wanted to do that. Some of them you have to pay for. Some of them are free. It just depends on what it does. But that gives you an idea of the plugins. And anytime you want to look at your plugins, you just click here and looked at the installed plugins right here. And it'll show you, see I've got all these down here, there's that SEO Ultimate I just added. It's really simple and easy to do. Okay, so we've built a few pages in here, but we wanna have a way for our visitors to get around our site. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to Appearance. We're gonna go down to where it says Menus. And what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna add a navigation bar. So let me put that in here. I'll put navigation. Now, as you see, what it's done to this menu structure here is it's added all these pages right here, which are identical to these pages over here. So if you click on one of these and add to menu, you're going to end up with, let's do it real quick, sample page on here twice. So we don't want that. So what we want to do is get rid of this. And I'm just telling you because a lot of people will go over here and click all these boxes and then end up with a menu and they're like, why are they in there twice? That's why they're in there twice. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume we like all these. If there's one you don't want in here, let's say we don't want sample page in here. We'll remove it. So we've got a WordPress page that contact us and about us that we've built. And we're going to just going to click on create menu. Okay, once we've clicked on create menu, we click right here and we go primary menu. This is real important or it won't show up. A lot of times people will make this menu and they can't figure out why it doesn't show up. That's why. So I'm going to save the menu. Now that's now our primary menu. So let's check it out. We'll go to our pages and we'll just pick any page just to see if it showed up on there about us. And then we'll go to that URL. And then there it is. Home, about us, contact us, WordPress page. So if we click on one of these now, it's going to take us to those pages. So it's really that easy. It's pretty cool, right? Okay, guys, so that is pretty much an overview of how to set up your WordPress website. It's simple. It's easy. Anybody can do it. But if you have questions, please leave comments below. I'll be happy to help you out. I have a lot of courses in e-commerce and Facebook ads and Shopify, and I'll be happy to help you in any of those areas. Just leave comments below, and I'll also leave some links below that you can get additional information.
Okay, guys, that wasn't hard now, was it? Now, I want you to also ask whatever questions you want. Um, you know, the Inner Circle group is growing and growing and growing. And if you're not in my Inner Circle and you're on this call, uh, I will go over real quickly what you get. And obviously, you get you know calls like this where I actually teach you how to really do stuff, uh, not to mention that you can submit your web pages, your products, your ads, all that type of thing. And I can help you out with all those things. Plus, you get access to $46,000 worth of my courses, which is a pretty cool thing. Um, I did want to mention that we're going to probably start doing these inner circle calls live on Facebook and YouTube. And we're setting up the software to do that now. It's a little complex, um, but it, 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 it's really cool, and I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, you don't like have to sign up for it like you're doing now to get in here. Um, you know, I'll send out all the email reminders like I always do. Um, but we're going to start doing that. It's probably going to take a couple weeks or something like that to get that going. But I just want to let you know about that. So, yeah, if you are interested and you want to join the Inner Circle and get access to trainings like this and all my courses and all that, um, you would go to bit.ly forward slash uh, no, this is Kartra. Oh, excuse me, the one below that. JRInnerCircle.com forward slash enroll. There's a free video there that gives you some training that shows you what you get. Pretty cool stuff. Um, where do you build your email automations? Number one question I get. Uh, and I do it in Kartra. And if you use that link there, which I uh, mistakenly just said for the Inner Circle, it's bit.ly forward slash Kartra dash uppercase JR. Um, you can get a Kartra account for $1 which is pretty cool, but it basically does memberships and does emails, it does sequences, it does opt-ins, it does landing, but it does everything. You only need that one piece of software. Uh, it'll do everything for you. So yeah, um, you're going to get a free domain, like I mentioned earlier, if you go to Bluehost, uh, but don't go just directly to Bluehost. Use this link right here, which is bit.ly forward slash Bluehost dash JR, and I'll let everybody write that down. I mean, why not get a free domain, right? I mean, otherwise, you're going to pay for it. That's silly. Why would you pay for it? Okay, cool. Um, and what do you get with the Inner Circle? You're going to get access to all my current courses. You're going to get the private Facebook group. You're going to get bi-weekly coaching calls, yearly or more masterminds in San Diego. Um, the relationships you're going to build, of course, networking, insights into the high-level masterminds that I attend. I'm getting ready to go to one uh, in September with Jessica to Cancun, Mexico, and it's the Platinum Summit for ClickBank. A lot of uh, multi-million dollar a year sellers there. Uh, we share ideas, and I bring all that information back to the Inner Circle members, which is very, very cool. Um, and the way you use it is you're going to go through different courses in the Inner Circle. We have Web Cash Academy, which is my training where I train businesses live, whether it's, you know, chiropractors or shop owners or plumbers or whoever it is. Uh, you're going to see those live trainings in there, and you'll also see some on-screen training on how to do some of this stuff. Um, you'll also get Ecom Road, which shows you how to build out a Shopify store and integrate it with AliExpress without having to buy any products or inventory. You'll be up and running in no time. So you can have a Shopify store that complements your website you just built. Uh, you can also get the email earning systems in there, which teaches you how to write these emails, how to set them up in sequences, how to get them out to your people and make more money. You'll also get Facebook Ads University. If you want to run ads on Facebook, great way to get traffic, great way to make money. Uh, there's an entire course in there that comes with four pieces of software, too, which is pretty cool, that helps you automate a lot of that stuff. Pretty exciting, right? Yay, yay, yay. So, guys, I want you to go ahead and start posting your questions. I see a bunch in there already. Uh, I'm not going to have time to get to every single question, but let me cover some of them. Uh, Jessica's going to read them off for me. Um, and also in the inner circle, you can submit your ads, like I said, landing pages, websites, products, all this stuff I will review for you, pricing, funnels, emails, subject lines, headlines, ideas, oh my gosh, your frustrations and your failures and successes. I will look at all of that for you and give you feedback, okay, which is pretty cool stuff. You could, Once you join the inner circle, you're going to click and you would submit it on this page here and um, you have to have access to this obviously through the inner circle that's where you'd get that and this is where you'd submit all your information so I can help you out one-on-one -on -one. once again the best software to do all this stuff is through Kartra uh, and that's bit.ly forward slash Kartra dash uppercase jr so let me get to some of your questions real quick before I get out of here Jessica do you have a couple of those prepared um Tom is asking do you have written directions do I have written directions Yes, what you do is you take this video and you write down every single thing I said 
and you will then have written directions. No, I'm sorry, I don't. Um, I apologize for that. But I will tell you, is an otter that, that transcribes it? Yeah, there's an app called Otter, Tom, and if you hold the app up to the screen when I'm talking, and we're going to repost this, it will literally um, write down every single thing I say for free on your phone. It's crazy, I know. Uh, but it actually transcribes for you. Uh, but I don't really have them written out because it's 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 a little bit different. Like, you know, if you're doing a blog or if you're doing, you know, e-commerce on there or if you're doing instruction or if you're doing membership, it's going to be a little bit different for each person. But I kind of broke it down into all different areas. But the short answer is no, that is not all written down right now. I'm sorry about that. Um, Ollie is asking if there are any other web hosts besides Bluehost. There are plenty. Yeah, I'm sorry if you didn't hear the question. Uh, Ollie's asking, are there any other web hosts outside of Bluehost? There are tons of them, tons and tons and tons, probably hundreds if not thousands of them. Um, the reason I recommend Bluehost is because if you're building your website on WordPress, they recommend them. Now, you know, you can certainly get any other hosting you want, uh, and sometimes it's, I don't think it's going to be much cheaper. Uh, a lot of times it can be very expensive, so you really want to be careful. But you know what? We don't use the same hosting for every site we have. Like we have a Magento site, uh, and a Magento site is very different from the platform of WordPress. And who do we use for that one? What is that one? It's, um, shoot, I can't think of it off the top of my head. But they specialize just in Magento. Because they just changed their name. They I'm changed their name. Um, Total Server Solutions. Total Server Solutions. We use that for Magento. Now, unless you're a really big, heavy e-commerce user, you wouldn't have a Magento site. But I'm just kind of pointing out that there are different providers out there. So, yeah. Uh, there's a lot out there if you want. You can look around. Um, so you kind of just touched on it, but Eric was asking if you have to build your website in WordPress, or is it just the best place? Eric, I will tell you, you do not have to build it in WordPress, but if you're going to have a website, I would always recommend WordPress. Um, WordPress is free, first off. Uh, that's a pretty cool thing. You know, there's a lot of uh, sites out there that, you know, will let you point and click and drag things and all that. And I was dealing with one of my uh, coaching clients yesterday, as a matter of fact, uh, and they had used one to sell music on, and it was really clunky. Um, it was, I guess, kind of cheap. It was 20 bucks a month, but WordPress is free. Uh, and the other thing about WordPress is more websites are built on WordPress than any other platform in the world. So since that's the case, there's more plugins. There's more things you can do with it. Um, if you need help on it, everybody knows how to work on WordPress. You know, all the experts know WordPress. So it's really a best place to get started. I know there's these like point and click things like Wix and stuff like that. I, I do not recommend that you use them though. Um, you know, they're proprietary. You can't do a lot of stuff in there. They're expensive and, and WordPress is free. So, I mean, yeah, I, I would say WordPress is the best way to go. Um, Tom said he missed the name of the software to convert the webinar to text. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. That software, and I'm going to pull it up on my phone as I'm talking to you. It's so cool, and it'll give you, I think, 600 minutes a month. Um, but I think it's, before I say it, I think it's Otter, but let me just check here. O-T-T-E-R. Yes, it's O-T-T-E-R. Is it Tom that was asking that? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the right one? No. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Otter. O-T-T-E-R. You can search it in your app store. Um, you're going to get 600 minutes for free, uh, and it resets every 30 days. So 600 minutes, you know, what is that? That's 10 hours. That's that's plenty of time, you know, to record what you want. And it's pretty good. I mean, they're not going to be perfectly accurate because I don't speak perfectly accurate, so you may have to go through it. But, uh, man, it's really cool. So if you ever need to transcribe something, and it, I used to pay people for that. You know, I used to send over an audio and pay like rev.com or something like that to transcribe, but I just use an app now. Works great. Uh, probably got time for maybe one question more. Jessica? Um, Sarah wants to know if you recommend um, creating blogs if you create a website. Sarah, how you doing? Um, she wants to know if I recommend blogs. Here's the thing with blogs. Um, some people do them, some people don't. What blogs do is they give people a reason to come back to your website if you're selling stuff on your website. So like if you, if you constantly come out with blogs, now what we do is I do like trainings, like the one I'm doing right now, uh, and that will probably go up on my video blog. So 
um, that helps a lot. You know, not everybody wants to sit down and write, but I will tell you, having helpful information on your site does make people come back there. Um, you know, don't overwhelm yourself. Don't try to do a blog a day or something like that. Don't do anything crazy like that. But if you could start off with one a month or one a week, uh, and it, like I say, it can be video. What we do is we put up the video of the training, and then below that, we'll put a transcription of that particular video. Um, you've got to understand that most people nowadays are on mobile, uh, probably 80% of the people on mobile, and they can't always have their volume turned on and listen to your videos. So if you put a little button below that says, you know, show transcript, uh, people will thumb through that because maybe they're in a meeting or maybe they're talking to somebody or walking through an airport or whatever it is. They just can't watch it. So I would recommend you having the text below it. That's that's a huge thing. Uh, I know, especially if you have a VSL page or something like that. I know I'm a little bit off point here. Uh, but if you have a VSL, which is a video sales letter, you know, somebody comes to a page and it's a video of you trying to sell something, uh, definitely have a drop down there with um, the transcript or whatever's in that video. And I have not done it to all of mine yet. I really need to. It just reminded me of that, Jessica. We need to do that yeah. um, because it really will help your opt-ins. A lot of people will go through and read it. So, yeah. So this has been a great session. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got something out of it, type in the comments there. I see some comments coming in. Somebody says that they can be a webmaster now. Yes, you can be a webmaster now, Eric. Uh, that's very cool. Uh, Marcia says she understands it very well or better now than she did before. Uh, and the rest of you, you know, feel free to comment in there. Makes me feel good if you like it. You know, if you don't, well, that means I need to work on it more. That's that's important too. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off, guys. I really appreciate you being here and listening and showing up. It means so much. Uh, if you're not a member of the Inner Circle and you got a private invite, um, good for you. Uh, you got some free training today, but think about joining that inner circle. Uh, it's very, very low cost. Uh, it grows a lot. We have a lot of people in there that can help you out, including myself. We can give you some one-on-one -on -one support, uh, and that becomes invaluable. Working on your own and trying to figure out all this stuff is very, very tough. So I'll go ahead and sign off. Jessica, would you like to tell everybody goodbye? Yep. Have a great weekend. Okay. Yep. Uh, you guys have a great weekend, and we will talk to you very soon. And thank you for showing up. Love having you here. And I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So saying goodbye. We're, oh, yeah, we're heading out for lunch. Um, so if you, you're a friend of mine on Facebook or whatever, we usually take some pictures, um, kind of show you what we're eating that day. If you're interested in that, you like restaurants, we hit a different restaurant every Friday. Today, I think we're going to New Orleans. Not the real New Orleans because it's getting ready to get hit by a big storm. So we don't want to be there. But we are going to go to New Orleans style restaurant today, and we'll show you some pictures of that place. So check it out. See me online. Look up J.R. Fisher, and uh, we'll post some pictures there. Talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.